natural in this video I'll show you how to do a twist out at least the way that I like to do my twist outs and also how I wore my hair for like a week until I actually took it out because I didn't want to mess with it right away um, but for the actual way how I styled my hair in this you know half up half down style you can check out this video right here so uh, thanks keep watching The first thing I did was use Cantu leave-in conditioner to just work it in all over my head. I didn't want to use Cantu leave-in conditioner plus water because that would like drench my hair too much. But the next thing I did was two parts at the temple and then one down the middle to give you four rows that are pretty equally sized, uh, equal width and then just go through and if it helps you can understand how many uh, twists will be on each row so I think I had about five twists and then I just detangled my hair with my Denman brush first and then use the curl enhancing smoothie to starting at the roots and then just work your way down each section of hair which is going to be one twist so for each twist I used probably about a, a dime sized or yeah dime sized amount of the curl enhancing smoothie and I made sure I put a good amount on the ends of my hair because it helps it like um, draw up it helps it stay closed and not unravel and then I detangled it with a Denman brush again it's like when you have eco styler gel in your hair that moisture and the product in your hair helps it define your curls and draw up easier and you take each section and you part it in half roughly in half don't have to make it perfect but you want to have pretty equal sections so that when you twist it the the curls will be uniform and you take it each time you twist it around notice how I'm twisting my hand as I pass it to the other hand and so you, it's like you're twisting it twice really and then just work your way down and once you get to the end you want to make sure that it's detangled at the ends and so it's not puffy or anything like that you put more uh, curly enhancing smoothie if you need to when you get to the very end coil it around your fingers and that pair it with the extra product that you put on the end will help it prevent it from unraveling repeat the process all the way around at the curl enhancing smoothie at the roots and then work your way down detangle and define your curls with the Denman brush and just twist all the way down make sure you keep the same amount of tension as you go and also twist in the direction you want it to lay so I wanted to show a more close-up view um, like I said before you part the section into equal parts and then you take one piece and you twist it with your hand you twist it then you switch it over to the other hand you twist it then you switch it over twist it switch it over and so on and so forth to make sure that you have the right amount of tension and the right uh, it also helps to find the curls if rather than if you just twisted it hand over hand. Um, let them dry overnight. And I need to uh, put some oil in between there. Massage it in or whatever. 
It's better to do it while they're in these little twists. So yeah, that's about it. So when you sleep or just going out, you can use scarves to help lay the twists in the direction that you want. So I wore it like this for about a week because I didn't have to go to the math dinner until later on. First, unravel the two big pieces of hair used to make the twist. And after you do that, kind of pull it in the direction that you want it to make sure that they're long and not drawn up because of the curls. And then use a little bit of oil on your fingertips to actually go through it. It'll help with eliminating the frizz. So gently part it where the hairs naturally want to come apart at, starting from the top down. But I was in a bit of a hurry, so I probably could have done a little bit better on this. I got to the point where I was in a real hurry, so I started doing this other way, which I think is actually a lot better. So instead of starting from the top down, it's more like starting from the bottom up. And you kind of untwist the hair in the direction, the opposite direction that of when you first put it together and un, undo it, especially at the end, and then kind of pull it a little bit and it, it comes apart on its own. You don't have to go through and separate it each individually um, because it'll just come apart on its own, as you can see there. This is a good example. So undo it at the bottom first and then just let it spring together. As you can see the finished product, my curls are defined and springy. Uh, the front is a little bit frizzy because I was rushing, but you can take this style and style it however you want. Depending on how you lay your twist, it'll come out differently. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks! Gotta make the bus.